Hey there. So um, I'm going to walk you through this process of figuring out how to get charts and graphs out of pages into high resolution JPEGs that you can use um, for print in a journal or for any other purpose. So um, I just opened up the a template here in pages and here is the chart that we would like to have as a standalone JPEG. So the first step is to export this as a PDF. We want to make sure that the image quality is set to best. And so I'm just going to save this as, um, save this to my desktop. So now we're all set with pages. Now here is the PDF that I just created and I'm going to open that in preview. Now, if you don't see these, um, the little thumbnail images, you can toggle that here. So you might see this and then you would just de-check or uncheck hide sidebar. Oops, or you would pick thumbnails. So let's go down to this page. So I think the first thing that you had tried was just to take a screenshot of this area. So I'll do this just as an example to compare against. And what I would recommend doing instead is right clicking on this page and clicking export as and then you can choose whether you want it to be a JPEG, a PNG, or a TIFF. I'll leave it as a JPEG for now. We'll change the slider to best. And then for resolution, you can change this number to whatever you want. So we can start with 300 and you can go higher if it's not what you need. So I'm going to um, change the file name to 300 and I'll click save. And so now over here, you can see I have a JPEG of the whole page. And so then what you can do is take this JPEG and open it in preview. And then you'll just, um, you can crop it. So we'll do markup and I'll select the area that I need and choose crop. And then you would, could just save it or, um, you know, save it again as something else. So here's the 300 DPI version. And then here is the screenshot. One second, I saved my screenshots in a separate folder. Okay, so here's the screenshot version. So we've got the screenshot version and then the 300 resolution version. So to see what the, the pixel size is, you can click on get info. And so the screenshot we can see is 1722 by 874. And that's hidden under more info if you don't see it. So dimensions 1722 by 874. And then for the 300, you can see that it's larger, 2000 you know, by 1000. Now that may still not be high enough resolution for you. So what we can do is we'll go back to our original in preview and you can do again, this export as JPEG and you can make this a really large number, like say 1600. And so we'll do, you know, the same steps. Oops, I didn't name this correctly. Again, I will open this in preview and crop it. I'll save it. Okay, so now I will get the info on this um, and the shortcut is command I once you've selected it. So again, so you can see now, instead of it being 2000, it's now 11,000 pixels. So you can do some math to figure that out. Um, just for, um, quick purposes and knowing that this is like what the professional designer would do when they receive your file, I'm going to open up this 1600 version in Photoshop. And so you can go to image size and right now the, the height width and resolution are linked. So if I say that I need this to be 300 DPI right now, I could print this at 18 by 36, no problem. And you can see it's, 
it's nice and crisp. Like you're not getting any pixelation. There's no problem at all. So I think you should be able to create whatever kind of high resolution graphics you need um, from your pages file. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope this helps.